Hi girls, it's Friday, and I actually really missed you. It feels really weird to not make a video on a Friday, but since I was in Saskatchewan with my brother, I really didn't have a whole lot of internet access. I spent all week last week adjusting to being two hours later. I got back to Ontario yesterday, spent my whole day Thursday just traveling. Those were quite some loud birds in your video there. But I am jealous that you got to shoot outside because I really wanted to make a video somewhere a little more exciting than this background. Yes, my walls are a lovely color. It's a beautiful house coat here, some videos in the background. But the same scene week after week is kind of boring. So I'm going to see what I can do about trying to film somewhere else. It's raining today, again, so can't really do that outside. Maybe I'll just play musical rooms? Record in a different room every week? What do you think about that? Random comment. I love your bookmark, Chelsea. It is totally adorable. I like really cute things. Red's my favorite color. Also, you don't have to convince me to watch Lord of the Rings. I just have to get a hold of them. I don't have any of the DVDs, but I know my friends do. I just have to actually talk to them. I will watch them, make time for them. I'm a pretty busy girl for someone who doesn't exactly have a job. Speaking of busy girl, Holy Stella, I am so jealous of your crazy life because you're, what, 15 and you do so much fun stuff. I may not watch Glee, but all the times you've gotten to go see Darren Chris and all that crazy stuff you get to do in New York, that's pretty cool. Pretty sure I want to go down to New York and do some crazy stuff with you. I went there in high school, grade 12 for choir. We were going to sing, but that didn't work out. I don't know why. But we were in New York City, and that was a lot of fun. And I really want to go back. I just don't have the money at the moment. I'm going to make a video of all my exciting Saskatchewan adventures. It was raining there the entire time. But I still have to make a video of when I was in Cuba over a month ago. I've been pretty lazy, so I'm going to get back to that. When I get around to it, I need to give myself a kick in the butt and get moving on things. The book I actually spent the last two weeks reading, so it wasn't a big loss for me not making a video because I wasn't done my book. But I read this book. It's a Doctor Who book. First Doctor Who book I've ever read. It's called The Coming of the Terrifiles. It was a really interesting book, but it took me a while to actually get through it. Maybe because I've been doing so much different things, I couldn't actually sit and read. But I really had to concentrate to read this book. The doctor gets a distress call from somewhere out in the multiverse. Yes, multiverse. They explained it all in the book, if you don't know what I'm talking about. And he needs to go help them. The cool part about the book is they're reenacting, like, what they think Old Earth did for, like, Renaissance things. They have some joustings, some arrow competitions. I can't really explain it, but basically there's some who's it and whack it's and yes, those are the actual words they use in the book. So if you haven't read the book, I suggest you read it. It's very interesting if you're a Doctor Who fan. The Doctor's doing this tournament because he needs to win an arrow. And the arrow is what they call the regulator, or the regulator, of the multiverse. And it balances law and chaos, matter, antimatter, which is all explained in the book. Since the arrow was stolen a long time ago, the multiverse has been starting to get out of order and dark tides are coming through and stealing light and matter and just causing absolute havoc. The multiverse usually um, naturally regenerates, but because the regulator is gone, it's not really going on its natural pattern, so it's moving faster than normal. So he needs to restore that and bring it back into balance. I'm really annoyed with Amy in this book. I know Chelsea and I really love Rory. He's absolutely amazing and gorgeous centurion, but that's not the point. The reason I'm annoyed with Amy in this book is because she's flirty little Amy, which is fine, but nowhere in this book, which it's a pretty big book, do they even mention Rory? No mention of Rory in the past, nothing. It does mention that Amy misses Earth, but nothing about Rory. One of the players on the team that the doctor's playing on for winning this arrow. His nickname is Bingo. He's totally in love with Amy and asks her to marry him because of course she's beautiful and she's just, she's Amy. She turns him down, 
but it's the fact that there's no Rory. I'm saddened by the no Rory. She can go gallivanting around, flirting, whatever. But you need to mention Rory. Rory is a key character. There's so much going on in this book. That's why it took me two weeks to read it. It's a good book. I do like it. There's talks about crazy hats. Crazy, crazy hats that look like spiders. The only reason this book kind of gets a thumbs down? No Rory. Other than that, great book. Have any of you read Doctor Who books? Like, am I missing something here? Do they not follow the regular canon of the shows? Need more Rory. Stella, I hope you're having fun gallivanting around. Girls, I hope you have a really good weekend. And I hope it's a little sunnier than mine is. Chelsea, I'll see you on Monday.